Airborne soldiers have a long distinguished history. To join this group, one has to complete the basic airborne school, three weeks of intense training. This is not the place you would expect to find soldiers from Army Medicine, but five soldiers from Dwight D. Eisenhower Medical Center were recent graduates. Command Sergeant Major William Allen was one of the group. In a time of great change, now we have to kind of prove our place in the tactical realm amongst our combat arms brothers and sisters and, and show that medics and medical personnel are just as capable of achieving airborne, air assault, ranger, sapper, those types of schools. So, at 52, Allen took on the challenge. Passing the Army's physical fitness test is the first step, and the intensity ramps up from there as instruction begins to prepare for a parachute jump and a safe landing. It was physically harder than I, I suspected it would be. I mean, I, I've kept myself in, in good shape, but coming here, I, you know, at home, I, I throw on my Broncos hoodie and my, my tennis shoes and I go run five miles. I do not put on my boots, my, my advanced combat helmet and my uniform and go run five miles. And so that was a challenge. Command Sergeant Major's participation at the school was wholly supported by the command at Eisenhower and the Regional Health Command Atlantic. Everyone allowed me to come. Um, and so I'm grateful for that and I'll be personally elated um, that I accomplished it. After graduating the course, these new paratroopers now have the right to wear the coveted silver wings of the airborne. Soldiers, service members in general, Americans, even human beings still need heroes. They still need people to look up to, aspire to be like. And, and you might be that to somebody if you come to one of these schools and are successful.